Okay, oh, once upon a time in Hollywood. Holy shit, Tarantino. Tarantino. I'm gonna chop this up and throw this on the movie review channel. You watch Replicas? See, yeah, 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 yeah. That movie may flop. It doesn't matter if it flops or not. They have to roll this stuff out. Um, yeah, so let me briefly get into uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yo, let's let's just right now, Cliff Cliff Booth and Rick Dalton, two of the two of the most manliest white man names you will ever hear in a movie for the first hour and a half. It may be a slow burn. I liked it. I appreciated the relationship between Cliff Booth and Rick Dalton. Uh, it was a real, like, manly, you know, no bromance crap. But it was just a really, really good um, depiction on, on brotherhood and manhood, right? So, Cliff Booth, a.k.a. Brad Pitt, is uh, Rick Dalton's driver. Rick Dalton, Leo, he, he lost his license because too many DUIs. So that's why he's always driving him around, okay? And then um, Rick Dalton is a, is a, is a aging movie star. He's, he used to be an A-lister. Now he's done dropped a B-list and C-list. Now he's doing all these, you know, uh, TV shows as a bad guy that gets beat up every week at different TV shows. The Jew, Mr. Schwarz, wants to put him in movies in in Rome in Italy right overseas because he's he, he you know he likes Rick Dalton you know um his acting ability right so there's this whole midlife crisis that he's having uh right Leo acted his ass off when he was doing the uh he's playing a heavy in the one tv show right and he spazzed out and forgot his lines and then he can't. He comes back and kills the kills the next scene. The little girl. Now here's where it gets a little little creepy. Okay, a little creepy. If you see the movie, you know what I'm talking about. When the plan, the, they're having a scene when uh, Cliff Booth is playing a bad guy, and the little girl is sitting on his lap. Right. I'm sitting here like, cause she's supposed to be a hostage, and I'm sitting here like. This just does not look good to me. Now, maybe I'm I'm overthinking this part of the movie, but I'm like, this looks real, real weird. Because the way he kept holding the girl, you know, he's laughing and, and, and he, you know, he's doing the psychotic bad guy stuff back and forth. And I was like, this just feels so weird. And then the prior scene, when they went to break and uh, Rick Dalton... Is on is on another set and the little girl's reading her book, right? And then he breaks down because he's reading this, this 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 spaghetti western book about a Bronco Buster that used to be good, fell and had an injury, and he's coming to terms that he's not as good as he used to be. And the little girl's like, "Oh my God, this is a set!" But the little girl is like at his knees, looking up at him at one point. And I'm like, "Man, that just does not look right." Anywho, moving on. All I really cared about in this movie it was how they're going to do the Sharon Tate murders at the end. Because we knew there's going to be a confrontation between Rick Dog and Cliff Booth and the Sharon Tate killers. Okay? So all up until then, they was alluding to uh, the killers. So Cliff Booth, uh, throughout the movies, comes across this hitchhiker girl that actually is part of the cult for, Ch for Charles Manson. They live at Spawn Ranch where Cliff Booth used to shoot his movies years ago. Okay? So he finally picks the girl up hitchhiking, gives her a ride back to Spawn Ranch. He's like, hey, uh, all you hippies here, you know, where's George? And she's like, who's George? George, the original owner. I used to shoot movies here. Prophet, I thought, peace, bro. Hey, did you get my text? Get my, did, I, I sent you information to send me back. I just need, bro, I just need a title of the podcast for now and your first and last name. Just text it to me and I'll submit it to uh, Cindy. Okay, okay, okay. So then there's this tension, right? And I'm thinking, oh no, they're gonna kill Cliff Booth right here and now, right? Uh so he's like, I want to see George because I want to make sure he's alright. I want to see him for myself. They're like, yeah, he's sleeping, 
yada 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 places in shambles right so cliff booth makes his way to the house and there's this this girl squeaky and squeaky's like he's sleeping and yada 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 and you don't have to come in and he's whatever and, and, and cliff booth is listen cliff booth is a bad motherfucker in this movie man cliff booth shout out to shout out to brad pitt right so he makes his way in the house he sees george wakes george up george is going blind and he's a crotchety old man and they have a conversation. He's like, hey, I just wanted to see how you're okay, you know. Make sure you're okay. All these hippies in your in your in your home. You know, like, are you okay? Are they taking care of you? And he's like, man, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He walks out. So then all the hippies are like cussing him out and booing at him and shit. Before that part, before that part, okay. Uh Rick Dalton convinces Kurt Russell's character, I forget his name, another stuntman guy, the gaffer, to uh give uh, Cliff Booth, a, a an acting a stunt gig job, right? So the back lot, there's the Bruce Lee dude, the Bruce Lee dude, whoever dude, whoever dude to play the Bruce Lee did a pretty good job. So then Bruce Lee's waxing poetic about Cassius Clay and 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 Sonny and and, and uh, Joe Frazier, yada yada, or Sonny Liston, right? And then he says something, and then Cliff Booth laughs, and then Bruce Lee's like, "What is I? What did I say? It's so funny." Yeah, we spoil movies. This is what I do. Shit, damn it. And so, uh, 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 Cliff Booth was like, Oh, that's funny. You'd be nothing but a stain on the bottom of, uh, Cassius Clay's shorts or something. And then they get to go on, just doing this back and forth. And then that's when you see, you see the scene where, you know, I, my hands are registered weapons. And if I hit, get kill somebody, I go to jail. And then Cliff Booth is like, yeah, if you, you hit somebody, it's called assault. You go to jail me automatically. So then they decide to have this little friendly fight. Friendly sparring match. And they say no hit, no headshots, neck down, right? So then Bruce Lee does his little flying kick, kicks uh, Cliff Booth in the chest, knocks him down. Cliff Booth says, okay, try it again. So he, try, he hit, tries to go to kick again. He throws Bruce Lee against the car. Damages the car, the side of the car. Okay, so then Bruce gets back up, and then they're going at it, right? And Cliff Booth is there, is right there with Bruce Lee. I'm about to hand him his ass, right? So then, uh, Kurt Russell's wife, the one that doesn't like Cliff Booth. Cliff Booth backstory. Cliff Booth is a war hero that killed his wife and got away with murder. So people are like, I don't know about this guy. He makes people nervous, okay? So Cliff Booth is a badass in this movie, okay? So the wife comes out and says, what the hell happened to my car? And what? why are you fighting the lead? Right? Because Bruce Lee is the superstar, right? They're, like, they're on the back, the back lot taking a break. And she's like, what are you? Why are you fighting my superstar? He's the lead character. And Cliff was like, oh, no, you know, it wasn't like that. Bruce, Bruce was like, no, it, we were just a friendly sparring match. And no one got hurt. And and Cliff was like, well, you know, I did throw him into into that car over there. She's like, you threw him into my car. And then Kurt Russell comes out, and she's cussing up a storm and get your clothes, change character, change your clothes, get off the lot. The wife is a ball buster, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So Cliff Booth loses his job for the acting. Get getting back to Spawn Ranch. So Cliff Booth is walking out Spawn Ranch. They somebody uh, flattens his tire. Right? Flattens his tire. All the girls are like, ooh, boo, 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 boo. And, and then, <laughs> and then there's a big blonde, the six foot blonde, right? He's laughing. And Cliff Booth is like, did you do this? And he's laughing. He said, this is my boss's car. And, uh, you want to fix this. So then it, the big blonde gets up off the fence. And Cliff Booth walks up on him and decks, I mean, decks him off his feet, right? This, and we're like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at this point, I'm worried they're going to jump him and kill him. Right? I'm like, hurry up and get out of here, man. So, he, and he picks him by the head and he punches the shit out of him. And he's whooping and he's just punching him, punching him, punching him. And then the girls all start walking up towards him. He says, anyone takes another step of foot, I'll knock his fucking teeth out. And they all stop. And then the one girl goes to go get Tex. Right? Tex is out doing horseback riding trails for people. Right? So, by the time Tex comes back, uh, he already made the blonde change the tire, and Cliff Booth is able to escape the uh, the, the the spawn ranch, 
hippie compound led by Charles Manson. You see Charles Manson a hey, once in a while in this movie, right? The dude looks dead on Charles Manson, okay? And then you got this backstory with Sharon Tate because, you know, she's a new actress she's in a couple movies. I didn't care for her story, but they, they had to bring, you had to build it up, right? To make, make you care about her. So fast forward to August 1969. If you know the Sharon Tate murders, I think it was August 9th, 1969. So we get to the night of the murders. So uh, Rick Dalton finally accepts Mr. Schwartz's offers to go overseas to make movies. He made four films. He takes uh, uh, Cliff, uh, Cliff Booth with him. That's his, st his stunt double, right? So they're on the way back. And then uh, uh, Rick Dalton marries the Italian chick, one of the director's daughters, right? So now they're married. So they're on their way back. The relationship between Rick and Cliff is going to change now because he's, he has a wife now. And he's, a, he's not a struggling actor, but he's not living the life he used to be. And so they have a conversation where he won't be able to, to afford Cliff Booth anymore as his, as his driver, stuntman, all that, you know, like, his, uh, like, a, like a Cato, a house guest. Right, so the night of the murders, they're having one last luau hangout at, 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 at Rick Dalton's. So, Rick Dalton goes out to the pool, the wife is in the back sleeping. Uh, Cl Cliff Booth takes uh, his dog Brandy. Shout out to Brandy the pit bull. I know I'm sounding crazy right now. Shout out to Brandy the pit bull in this movie. This dog, listen. You've never seen no damn pit bull built like this in 1969. Okay, cut the bullshit. All right, I had a pit bull in 85. Nowhere, not built nowhere near like this dog, okay? <laughs> That's the only thing they got wrong. What no pit bulls in 1969 built like Brandy? Brandy looked like it came out of uh, Bossy Kennels, okay? Brandy looked good. Okay, I'm like, that's that's a bossy kennel pit bull right there. Anywho, so Brad Pitt goes to, he smokes this cigarette laced with uh, uh, LSD that, that he bought from the hitchhiker girl months prior. They go for a walk, takes Brandy for a walk. The killers walk up, they drive up initially in, in a raggedy car. Rick comes out, hey, you mother, you hippies, get out of here, you're making noise and there's a private area, whatever, whatever. And they're like, okay, okay, well, you know, whatever, whatever. So down at the bottom of the, of, the, of the canyon, the killers decide to kill those who taught people how to kill in movies. Nice little twist, okay? So they decide to kill Rick Dalton because they, they recognize it as Rick Dalton. They say, yeah, let's, let's kill people that taught us how to kill in these movies, all right? So they get out the car. It's four of them. They're walking up. The one girl uh, chickens out. She's like, oh, I forgot my knife. I got to go back to the car. It's like, okay, hurry up. Go get it. She drives off in the car, which actually happened. There was actually four killers. The third one actually um, chickened out and 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 drove, took the car and drove off. That is act. That is historical fact. Okay, 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 okay. They get, they break into Rick's Rick's house. They break into Rick's house. Okay. Now, mind you, Cliff Booth is still high off LSD. He's about to feed Brandy this this canned dog food. Oh, and the sound it makes when it slops out of the can. Oh, disgusting. Oh, my God. The sound editing. Perfect. So they break into Rick's ha uh, house. Mind you, his wife is in the back room sleeping. Rick is in the pool on the, on the floaty. So it's this Cliff, the three killer, the, the three killers surrounded. He's surrounded. And Brandy's on the couch. Okay. The, the guy has a gun. Of course, Brad's like, are you real? Uh -huh. He's laughing. He's, he's bugging because he's high off LSD. Right? He said, hey, wait. I know you. I remember you guys. You guys from Spawn Ranch. I remember you, the red hair. And you, the white face. The white face girl with the black hair. And he says, hey, your name was Rex or something. Something, something. No, it's Tex. He's like, oh, yeah, Tex, Tex. And he has pointing a gun at, he's pointing a gun at, at, uh, at, at Cliff. So then C Cliff kind of snaps out of his high and he realizes What's going down? So he has a can of he has the can of dog food in his hand. Nigga. So just before the dude shoots him, he goes and Brandy launches at Tex. Starts biting him in the arm. The the black haired white faced girl charges Cliff Booth. Cliff Booth 
throws the can of dog food at old girl's face. Busts her shit wide open. She goes down. She's crying and blood and, and guts. Holy shit, right? The redhead girl is, is, oh, the redhead girl had brought out, I'm sorry, redhead girl had brought out his wife, woke the wife up, Rick's wife. So the Rick, so the redhead and, and, and she has a redhead at, the redhead has a knife at the wife, right? Rick's wife. So they're just kind of like watching everything go down. And so Brandy starts chewing, chewing on the dude's arm and then he chews in his inner thigh. And then Brandy goes for the dude's nuts. Oh my god. Oh my god. People in people in the theater were just like, oh my god. People were cringing and like, what the hell? And they were they were reacting. And it was a visceral, visceral, uh, visceral moment. So then he goes and he sends Brandy over there to go get to start biting on uh the, the girl that got busted in the face with the can of dog food. So he's tearing her ass up. So then, so then uh, Cliff Booth goes over to the dude and uh, he curb stomps him. I mean, he does some other shit, but he curb stomps the dude face into mush. Listen, American History X curb stomp was nothing compared to Cliff Booth's curb stomp in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Curb stomped this dude dead, dead, right? So then Rick Dalton's wife is like, hey, hey. And the redhead turns and the girl, she punches old girl out punches old girl out right and then so brandy is still attacking the hell out of uh the white face girl okay so she's screaming and crying and hollering and stuff and then uh brandy lets go and then the redhead tackles dalton dalton has a knife sticking in his hip and he and he's still high off lsd he's looking at her he looks at his hip and then he just grabs the redhead girl. Lord have mercy. And he starts bashing her head against the picture frames, the 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 the, 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 the frame. Then he bashes her head against the fireplace. And then he bashes her head against the, the table. And then for the and then he goes back to bash her head in against the mantle. And her head is just caving in, caving in, caving. I mean, he's just bashing and bashing. I mean, he bashes this bitch's head to nothing. So then Brandy lets go of the of the of the, of the, of the red of the black uh, the white faced girl. Somehow she ends up she ends up with the gun, the dude's gun, and then Dalton sends her through the glass uh, glass window. Uh, Cliff Booth pretty much passes out at this point. So she crashes through. The, the 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 glass window, the door to the to the pool. Rick Dalton's on his float. He's like, "What the hell? What the fuck? Whatever." And she's ah, she's screaming. She's got glass in her face. Her face is caved in. She's got a gun. She's shooting and shit. So she ends up in the pool, right? Uh, 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 Rick, Rick Dalton gets out the pool. He go grabs his flamethrower. Now the flamethrower thing is referenced earlier in a movie. I think it's fourteen something to Frankie 14 levels of Frank one of old Rick Dalton's old movies where he, he used the, the flamethrower it was a Nazi German war movie right Toppy thank you thank you right he grabbed the flamethrower and he just cooks this chick in his pool <laughs> and we're like yes because there's a running joke with the flamethrower right when he's first practicing to learn how to use a flamethrower he's like hey man that's too hot can we turn it down a bit? And they're like, dude, it's a flamethrower. It's supposed to be hot. That was a running joke early in the movie. <laughs> so, so, so he cooks this broad in his pool. <laughs> the cops show up. Uh, Cliff Booth goes to the hospital. Him and Rick Dalton have a, a one last manly moment. Cliff, uh, Cliff is like, man, no, no, don't come see, come see me in the hospital tomorrow. Go check on your wife, man. Go take care of your wife. Cliff is absolute badass in this movie. Cliff Booth, everybody. Uh, is it worth a matinee? I say do a matinee. Don't don't um don't general admission it. That's that man. That, that, but if you're a Tarantino fan, then you you're gonna general admission it. But it's a, it is a slow cook because the, the 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 focus is the relationship between uh Cliff Booth and Rick Dalton. 
And I was worried at first because I was like, I hope that there's no gay shit in here. But it wasn't. It was a straight, straight, just manly stuff. You know what I mean? So, um, struggling actor. I liked it. I liked it. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Once upon a time in Hollywood. So, um, I, 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 I was happy. Uh, no blacks in the movie. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm over that, man. I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't care. Come on, it's Hollywood, 1960. There was a couple. There's a black Playboy bunny in the movie. They went to the Playboy Mansion. There's a black Playboy bunny. There's your black in the movie. I mean, it's a movie about Hollywood, 1969, Sharon Tate murders. I don't recall any any black folk being uh, uh, down with that. Okay, I'm just saying. Dinah, hey, hey. So yeah, that I'm chopped this up. So that was. Um, once upon a time in Hollywood I liked it Listen, people that complain about Tarantino Use the dialogue The dialogue was was crisp I liked it Look, Leo acted his damn ass off in this movie Like, I felt bad for the character, man <laughs> You know, the, 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 the in the trailer He's like, it's, it's, it's over, buddy It's over, good buddy And I, I'm a failing star <laughs> I mean, you felt the dude <laughs> It was it was hilarious. Rollo, what's happening? Yeah, the Bruce Lee depiction was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, yeah, go see as a matinee, man. If you're not one of those hardcore Tarantino fans. All right, moving on.